Africa needs a major renewal, a major transformation economically, politically, culturally. One of the key challenges is, is manpower. The human component has become key. The thinking, the outlook, the response to problems. The mission of Ashesi University is to educate a new generation of ethical entrepreneurial leaders in Africa. Ashesi University opened its doors in a rented building in Accra with a pioneering class of just 30 students. <laughs> it took a bit of naivete, it took a lot of courage, it took a lot of determination. And 10 years later, here is the dream fulfilled. A beautiful new campus in the hills of Brekuso, northeast of Accra, where international faculty, state-of-the-art computer laboratories and exceptional facilities, including on-site hostels, combine to provide the best educational environment possible in Ghana today. What inspires me the whole community, the whole vibe, the lectures, the opportunities, the internships, the advice, the talks, the content of the institution, what it stands you're for. About projects, so you're you're about being challenged things. all the time to think. Students from across Africa come to Ashesi to pursue bachelor degrees in computer science, business administration and management information systems, curricula developed in association with three of America's leading universities, Swarthmore College, the University of Washington and the University of California, Berkeley. And at its core, the liberal arts, an approach making Ashesi University unique in all of Africa. The liberal arts is about educating the whole mind and giving people multiple perspectives. Focusing on the student and their development, the way they think, the way they think about problems, how they solve problems. So you are given a whole range of tools, including the major that you are focusing on. That is the kind of human being we want as Africa goes forward. It's a practical hands-on approach based on interactive teaching, on discussion, research and inquiry, encouraging students to explore, discover and communicate. Communication is not just about talking or writing, it's also about listening and understanding. What makes you think they're rhetorical? We engage them as fully as possible. They are forced to speak up, learn how to, you know, um, engage with other people. You are actually supposed to have an opinion. You are encouraged to share your thoughts. I'd like to add that whoever writing this has this ambitious I know it's someone looking down on earth. Probably there's a kin. You're learning with, with videos and people coming in to talk to you and inspire you. We're raising students who are innovative, who don't think within the confines of just what they know. They are willing to learn, explore, and challenge the status quo. A liberal arts education is about critical thinking, exploring connections, questioning assumptions, and reflecting on the views of others. Critical thinking is about learning to ask the right questions. We try to give the students tools uh, to solve the problems that they see around them. Because problems change as societies evolve. You need to have people with the capacity to read these changes and to respond to them. In one moment I'm doing research uh, on African development, in another moment I'm doing a communications update for our website, you know, in another moment I'm doing a, something that relates to administration, but you should be able to, you know, meet each challenge that comes with some confidence and some poise that you can handle it. And I think that's what the Ashesi education gives you. Charles Dolly graduated from Ashesi in 2006. Today, he's executive assistant at the African Center for Economic Transformation in Accra. So I have colleagues here uh, who've studied at some of the best universities in the world, in America, in Europe, uh, across Asia. And in my work, in my interactions with them, I don't see myself as lacking in any way. And that holistic view of education that I got from Ashesi has given me that ability to interact with some of the best in the world. Uh, We're trying to switch people's minds on. We're trying to give them broad perspectives. Okay and most importantly of all, a sense of responsibility built on the three pillars of scholarship, leadership and citizenship. We need ethical leaders, we need people who are compassionate, who work with integrity, who work with dedication and discipline and focus. It's a way of life, it's about integrity, living your life with integrity. I think I have been able to develop that stage, that, 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 that confidence, to be able to sit in an examination without an invigilator and keep my head glued on my paper. Or raise my head up and see somebody cheating and have the courage to report to the press. Because in the long run, they'll go out there, they become presidents, corporate bosses. They have power. 
What do you do with that power if you don't have a moral compass? So our task here in Nashesi through the leadership seminar series that we have from year one to the final year is to ensure that by the time our students finish, they understand the importance of leadership. Nothing comes easy, especially ethics. Graduate Charles Kwao of software developer Dream Over. At the crux of all of this ethical leadership is the ability to believe in yourself and the values that are instilled in you. And those values um, are not wavered irrespective of the situation you find yourself in. It's not just about getting the results, but really it's about how you get it done. It's about the difference you make to others. This is precisely what community service, a compulsory component of Ashesi's leadership seminar series, is all about. It was helpful that our curriculum encouraged us to see beyond our comfort zones and see that there were real needs among the people in our society. Students identify needs in surrounding communities and practically apply the skills they've learned to effect change. Araba Amoesi did her community service at the Village of Hope an orphanage in Gomwa Fete in 2006. So powerful was the experience that it changed the course of her career. Having graduated top of her class as a computer science major in 2007, today she's the chief operating officer of the orphanage. One thing that makes her special is that she doesn't accept mediocrity. She wants to excel in everything and it affects the people around her so that they also want to perform at her level and that really helps. And uh, above all, her attitude towards work is different. Um, she comes with an attitude to accomplish something, to make a difference. I believe strongly that whatever education a person gets should be able to make a difference in society. An Ashesi student takes action, does something about the situation when they see it. And that is what the continent needs. Intrinsic to the Ashesi philosophy is belief in diversity. They've been exposed to faculty and staff and other students from all over. The rich, the poor, the men and the women, Muslims, Christians, people from many different ethnicities. People from different schools, international schools, local schools, they blend everything. To enable diversity, the university has awarded over three million dollars in financial assistance to students who need it. And so our scholarship program allows students who don't have the means to be able to assess resources to come to this university. And we are very proud of that. When I went to college, it was because I got financial aid. I could not have gone to Swarthmore College without financial aid. You know, I understand what it means, and I very much want to pass it forward to others. Thanks to a new $13 million partnership with the MasterCard Foundation in Canada, even more students will receive scholarships to attend Ashesi. And without that support and financial aid, I would not be here to achieve all the things that I'm achieving here. If I wasn't on scholarship, I wouldn't have been able to afford an Ashesi education. I don't see my education as mine, it's for my community. And I'll be grateful, ever grateful to Ashesi for that. I see the quality of students that we are producing. They rise very quickly into supervisory and managerial positions because they think very broadly, very openly. And so when I look out there and I see employers telling me, look, I need more of your students, that tells me we're doing something good. World-renowned General Electric employed eight Ashesi graduates to help establish their presence in Ghana. We've been very, very impressed with the level of integrity, the values they have, the education system, the flexibility, to, and then the fact that how they also react to challenge. In my time at Ashesi, I was taught to be a self-starter. Here, we've worked, even in our first year at GE, on multi-million dollar Projects. And in Ashesi, you take initiative, and in GE, you give it room to operate. So if you're someone who's used to being told what to do or being spoon-fed, you'd find it uh, challenging to work in this kind of environment. They're not uh, paper pushers. Those guys have already brought, be, be educated as leaders. Ashesi has given me courage. I strongly believe in staying here and making things work here for us. You know, the responsibility lies on us and that we're not, as a people or as individuals, owed anything by anybody or anyone. We're not going to wait for some superman to come and um, change anything for us. We have started our change in our own small way. I do see myself as part of a generation of Africans who think differently. 
uh, who are not daunted by the task of rebuilding Africa. Ours is to prove the skeptics wrong. But we believe that with commitment, with vision, or with spirit of togetherness, we can begin to create a new Africa.